Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Uh, the Exodus is happening. Brothers and sisters want to leave and come to the motherland, where they set up a business, uh, connect with their families, create a new family. I think very soon I would have to connect maybe one or two people to my royal family here in Cape Coast. So we are here in a community called Anochi. Anochi can be found in Salt Pond. Yes, I would say it's a suburb of salt pond. Anochi has beautiful landscape. I'm shooting you a drone and you understand exactly what I'm telling you about. So I had a phone call by a brother who's called Elliot and Elliot was like, hey Echo, um, the royal family in Anochi, they are giving out or they are selling land to anybody, not just diaspora, anybody who is ready to settle here in the motherland. Now, Anochi, I said, is located in uh, salt pond and salt pond is a beach community all right so from where we are you could drive like 10 minutes and you are the beach side just chilling do your own thing one interesting institution that is also close to where i am is infantiman senior high school it's a girl school that is doing massively well when it comes to uh you know uh, um, education here in cape coast in central region and in ghana so we are about maybe five minutes away from um, Fantaman Senior High School girls and then you're also not far away from Man Kesim or Man Kesim uh, historically Man Kesim is one of the busiest markets here in Central Region and it's not far from where I am about five minutes drive this location here is a vantage point for people who want to move here and learn the culture and learn the lifestyle of the beautiful people of Central Region and in Ghana to be precise. So I'm going to call the brother who brought me here. Uh, Mr. Elliot, please come around. All right. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I know some of you may have seen him in my, so one of my videos, two of my videos, like way back, let's say six, seven years ago. It's been a while. And he hails from uh, Salt Pond. So he's been, you know, doing his thing here in Salt Pond. I remember the first video that we did, we talked about yeah, a land that he land. purchased somewhere, somewhere there. And so he called me up and said, hey, Echo, I want to introduce you to someone. So he introduced me to the owners of this land. But courtesy, I need to bring him on and ask him some few questions. Then we can take it from there. But by the way, this is a land that is selling. Um, how? What is the measurement of the land we are here talking about? What is the measurement? Okay, so um, this one is um, 90 by 80, 90 by 80. Okay. Um, for the measurement uh, of, of each plot. Of each plot. Yeah. Okay, so 90 by 80. 80. Uh, I have already mentioned that there are some institutions around. Yeah. The Fantaman, yeah. Mankesim, not far from the roadside. Yeah. That is the most interesting part. Yeah. On the main road from Accra to Cape Coast, Charlie, you won't get it anywhere. Now, when I was flying the drone, I saw some buildings over there. Do yeah. you want to talk about that one? Okay. So, um, in the in, in back in the day, we had a, a company that is into ceramics that that produces uh, bowls, um, um, toilets, uh, WC, the seat, the the, the 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 whole thing that you sit on, and some other. Um, clay like structures so that company is called ceramics company it is located in salt pond just about um three four 
five meters away from Fantsman Senior High School. And so that's what we saw in the um, video uh, when, when he flew the drone. So that's a um, ceramics company. It's right there here in Saltman. Okay. Um, I, I, I have been helping people to buy land. And anytime I do that, I want to make sure I am giving them the right, I mean, land. Okay. Have you done any search already? Because I asked you that before I come here, you need to do a search on the land to show that this yeah. land. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's the owners of the land. They are done demarcating the land to me and to him. And so they are calling us to go and check it out. So, like I said, have we done due diligence to the search? As in, have we done anything from the Ghana Lands Commission that proves that this land doesn't belong to anybody? It's not a state land. Have we done anything like that? Yeah, just last week, we got the result out. And um, we, 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 we found out that it doesn't belong to the state and it doesn't belong to any other individual, which means it is litigation free. And the, the, the royal family, the owners, are the ones who came here to do the um, demarcation and the measurement. So we didn't go around, pick people from somewhere. No, we just went directly to the family and then they came to do it for us. So it doesn't belong to anyone, but the rightful owners are the ones who did that for us. All right, good. So when I came here, there was also one thing I found. Where we are now, there's a road separating us from the land over there and oh, where okay. we came from. Okay. I learned there's a mining yeah. company here. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to promote that mining company, company nah, yeah. but there's a mining company yeah. just around. <laughs> so so, so, so um, there has been a discovery of lithium here in Saltman, specifically in Ewea community. It's just a few, about 2.5 kilometers away from Saltman. So their boundary is right where we are standing. So this land shares a boundary with the land of the Lithium people. So which means that if you are to situate here, it means you are right there close to that company. And it's going to be a massive company when everything starts. So you are rightfully being called to be part of this uh, 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 what do you call it? this company when it, it, it comes up so come just 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 have a have a land a plot or two if you want four what, how many you want you will get it so come let's let's be part of this whole thing it's going to be big all right so come let's be part of this whole thing and it's going to be big yes because i want you to be big as well i know i have a couple of people who are waiting on me to show them because i was telling them hey uh someone is going to show me some land some are a little bit on a hill some are you know on a flat uh space uh so it is limited though we came we found 10 right yeah 10. yeah we found 10 plots and uh they've done the demarcation and everything so if you're interested uh i'll put an email address below just send me an email and say hey echo I'm interested. So when we came with the people, they, they had to come and cut all these places just to make way for us to come through and then show my beautiful family out there that they are land selling here. Someone will say, Echo, why are you selling land to? Why, why are Ghanaians selling land to a lot of people? Listen, the world is becoming big. It's a global world. It's a global world. It is becoming big. Even, even Ghanaians are moving to Canada, moving to the U.S moving to Germany to go and live. Are they not going to build? Definitely, when we have brothers and sisters come in here, they will need a place to be. Yes, we want to keep the greenery, but it is what it is. You still have to give people an opportunity to own a land, to uh, build, to set up businesses in Ghana. We're always talking about how Africans can come together and build. And I think that if someone who is overseas is so comfortably okay that hey i know i have a land in ghana i have uh, legal documentation to that therefore i can easily invest my money in ghana in africa to help africa develop so if you're interested in getting a land here uh you can google anochi salt Pond, central region ghana i'll put my email address there just send me an email tell me hey echo i'm interested soon 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 as possible and then we take it from there. Thank you very much for checking us out. We are out. A call 
Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Thank you.